With, from the time uh, I joined uh, or teamed up with Vicotax, I had a lot of stress on, on me running the store, taking care of finances, marketing and whatnot, and bookkeeping and uh, was one thing that was really, I mean, it was, it was taking most of my time. And from the time I joined Vicotax, that was just like such a relief um, on my end that I don't have to worry about those things. And also like not just taking care of bookkeeping, I would say that um, with Chris and his team, I got such a good support, like any question regarding is business related, regarding it's, uh, you know, helping any to kind of assistance we need in terms of business, Vicotax is always there. And I mean, I'm really, really grateful of Chris and his entire team for supporting us from, uh, from the time we joined them. And it's been a great help. The more that we help you grow, everybody will grow. Absolutely. And main advocacy is putting you in the front line because your success is our business. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us this uh, Wednesday, November the 4th, I believe so. Uh, we're going to be going over, this is already episode 10 of 13. We're going to be still going over how uh, businesses can save uh, with the new and uh, 2020 uh, COVID-19 relief assistances for small businesses. I'm Juan Turubiartes. I am an accountant, tax professional, payroll and bookkeeping expert. Also, along with Tax, we have been assisting business owners uh, access these uh, small funds, these grants, these loans that have been available, that have been provided by the federal, the state, even the local community has been providing these assistances. As we have been going over, of course, the previous nine uh, webinars, we have been talking about all the different financial assistances, who can qualify for each, and uh, what it is that is going to be required to be able and you know be eligible and provide all of the reports so you can be at least have access and opportunity to get these uh, financial assistances. Um, today we're going to be going over of course some employee credits uh, as we know, there has been a big increase on unemployment rates due to COVID-19, but what federal wants to do is to give refundable credits to employers who are able to keep employees on payroll. If they can keep the employees on payroll, that's going to keep the employees from being unemployed. So that is the, the goal that the federal government, that the state uh, governments are trying to do is to give back to these employers that have been able to keep employees on payroll. If you have missed some of those employee credits, these other loans, grants that we have been talking about on the previous webinars, you can always check out our YouTube page and they're always going to be there free of cost, of course, uh, from beginning till the end from the very first webinar up until this current one they're going to be there available for you uh, to see them for the first time or just see them uh, for a second third time if you want to keep going over and reviewing them uh, they're always going to be there available now before i proceed to this webinar let me just read this quick disclaimer this material has been prepared for informational purposes only it is not intended to provide and should not be relied on for tax, legal, or accounting advice. Examples and other materials in this webinar are only for illustrative purpose and should not be relied upon for technical answers. WICO Tax is an outsourced tax, payroll, and bookkeeping company. WICO Tax is not associated with any institution in this presentation and is a private business providing resources for small businesses. So we're gonna be going over the employer retention credit, what it is, uh, who can qualify, and of course, the big benefits of this. So Ms. Gloria, she is a single mom. She is a sole proprietor of her restaurant that has been open for the past 10 years. Now, what happened here with Ms. Gloria, she has had employees try to keep at least sales, maybe drive-throughs for her business, because I know that a lot of the services, a lot of the sales had to be at least momentarily stopped uh, due to the... Um, shutdowns in every community. So 
one of her employees, unfortunately, is experiencing symptoms of this COVID-19, and she wants to know if there are any uh, uh, assistances, any benefits of having, keeping the employee on the payroll at, at least. So uh, with this 2020, a lot of these uh, laws, a lot of the credits have been put on for the very first time. Uh, so the employee retention credit is one of the credits that's going to help her out, uh, keeping her employee who is experiencing symptoms on the payroll. So the employee retention credit, the ERC, is a refundable tax credit against certain employment taxes. So it is a refundable tax credit. That is one of the very pretty words that a lot of us taxpayers like to hear, refundable tax credit. And it is equal to 50% of the qualified wages an eligible employer pays to employees after March 12, 2020 and before January 1, 2021. Eligible employers can get immediate access to the credit by reducing employment tax deposits that they are otherwise required to make. Also, if an employer's employment tax uh, deposits are not sufficient to cover the credit, the employer may get an advance payment from the IRS. So now the IRS is going to owe you. So what this means is that the ERC is equal to 50% of the wages that you pay this employee. So uh, if you pay them, let's say, for example, $1,000, the refundable tax credit equals 50% of that $1,000, meaning $500. And you can get immediate access to this credit simply by not paying the payroll tax that you should have been paying. So that is how you can get easy access to this uh, tax credit. Now, who can qualify? Who is eligible to get the ERC? That will be businesses with less than 500 employees and also certain self-employed individuals. So if you are, don't have any employees, uh, but you at least are self-employed, then you are also eligible to this uh, refundable tax credit. Now, how to qualify to getting this tax credit? Eligible employers uh, to provide employees with paid sick leave if the employee is unable to work. That is how you qualify for this tax credit. So if the employee is not able to work, you have to at least pay them, keep them on the payroll to be able to get this uh, tax credit. Now, how can that employee not be able to work? How does that kind of qualify the employee to be in this ERC? So you know, the first one, the most common one is uh, if it's under federal, state, or local law, uh, if you had to get a quarantine, they had to isolate, then that is when this ERC is going to be uh, gonna be uh, eligible. That's when uh, they'll be uh, qualified for this. Now, number two, if he or she has been advised by a healthcare provider to self-quarantine. So if, of course, if she experiencing any symptoms, if she thinks she's getting sick, if a healthcare provider advises her to self-quarantine, uh, or if she has to quarantine because she's actually sick of the COVID-19, that's, that's when this is going to be qualified as an employee who is unable to work. Number three, if she is experiencing symptoms of COVID-19 or sick, seeking medical diagnosis, or she's caring for an individual who is also subject to self-quarantine to be isolated. Why? Because they are, they are um, sick or experiencing symptoms. Uh, like I said, if if it is a mother that is the employee and she's experiencing symptoms, she qualifies. If it is a mother and her son uh, is experiencing symptoms, therefore she has to stay and take care of the son, then that's when she'll be also qualified uh, to be uh, quarantined, to self-isolate. Uh, so those are what qualifies the employee as being considered not being able to work. Now, when is, what is the duration period? When can you uh, start getting these credits, this refundable tax credit? And, and that is uh, beginning April the 1st, 2020 and ending January 31st, 2020. So uh, nine months, what is it? The second quarter, the beginning of the second quarter of the year. And at the end of the year, that's when you can get the, this refundable RC. Now, how can you compute these credits? 
under federal, state, or local quarantine or isolation. Okay, I already read all of that. Now, how do you compute this? Like I said, it is 50% of what you pay the employee. That is how you can get, that's how you can easily calculate how much of this ERC you're going to be able to get. 50% of what you pay the employee. If you pay the employee $5,000, you get 50% of that, $2,500. That is the refundable tax credit. And how can you get access to this refundable tax credit? All you have to do is not pay what you should pay for payroll tax. That's how you can keep some of that money in your business, in your bank account, so it can at least continue to be paying the utility bills for the, for the business, uh, any other, of course, dues, subscriptions that you're like, like the point of sale a machine that reads credit cards, all of that it can be, of course, still be paid if you get this easy access to this refundable tax credit of ERC. Now, in the bottom, you're going to see some computations. This is how a self-employed individual can get or can calculate how much of this ERC they'll be able to obtain. So there's always a maximum, always with the IRS are gonna say, you can get a little, you can get some of it, but not too much of it. There's always gonna be a maximum. So in the maximum for self-employed individuals is gonna be $511 a day. And you can pay and you can get 10 hours, which pretty much 80 hours, two weeks is what the IRS is gonna give these self-employed uh, individuals. So 500 a day, $511 a day times 80 hours, uh, you're talking about a maximum of five thousand one hundred and ten dollars of what this uh, refund, what this ERC is going to give self-employed individuals. So I did a quick computation. If you're going to see it on the bottom right-hand side, it's an example of how you can uh, get calculations of uh, how much you can get for this ERC, and it's all going to boil down to your 2019 uh, tax preparation. Your, of course, individual tax reporting. However it is that it is reported, it's how you can get the computations for this ERC if you are self-employed. Remember, if you have employees, 50% of what you pay them. If you are self-employed, that's when these calculations have to be done so you can know exactly how much you're going to be getting. So as you see here, you have gross income, 150000 You have business expenses of 50000 Therefore, you have a net income take-home money of $100,000. So of course, you're going to do some uh, calculations how much you'll be getting per day so per day like i said the maximum five hundred dollars but in your case you have to use the numbers i use on your last tax return to see how much money you'll be able to get per day that so every self-employed individual is going to be different um, but it is something that is very good for self-employed uh, individuals if you have your own business you don't have employees it's good that at least you are able to get this refundable tax credit uh, because a lot of other credits, as we all know, self-employed individuals sometimes do not have access to the, these credits at the IRS. But this year, because it's a very you know, unusual pandemic that we are experiencing, the IRS is trying to give back to everybody, everybody that has employees, everybody that's self-employed, every employee. If, you're not, if you don't have a business, but you're an employee, that you can also get several credits. So at the end, IRS is trying to just waste all its funds so it can get money into the community and therefore, of course, help out the community, keep them at least purchasing, keep the businesses up and running in sales. It all has to boil down of helping out one another. The IRS helps us out. We have to help small businesses. Uh, that's the only way that, of course, businesses uh, can at least stay open, survive this pandemic. We are almost at the last and at the stretch end of this pandemic. Hopefully soon, very soon, you know, everything comes back to normal for everybody. So how, of course, how to compute these credits? This is also, if you are caring for an individual, a dependent who is also experiencing symptoms who may be sick of the COVID-19, that's when you can also get this refundable tax credit. So we see here, if, you're, if you are caring for an individual, this is how these ERC uh, refundable tax credits are going to be able to get calculated if you are self-employed. So each limit now, if you are caring for an individual, not yourself, but an individual, the limit is $200 a day. That is the maximum. Of course, you can still get 10 days, which is equal to 80 hours. So therefore, $2,000 is the maximum, the cap of 
this uh, credit if you are caring for an individual who is experiencing symptoms. This is for self-employed individuals. For employees, all you have to do is get 50% of what you pay them. That's going to be the way to calculate how much of this refundable tax credit you'll be able to get. Uh, now, how can you get the, the tax credit if you, for example, already are done not depositing the payroll taxes? That's how you claim the credit first and foremost. Now, how can you get an advance? An advance is what we were talking about earlier. If, if it is not enough money, the, the, the money that you keep in your bank account instead of paying the payroll tax, how can you get an advance? of the excess of the tax credit that you are eligible, that you're qualified to get. This is gonna be done by submitting IRS form 7200. And this is the advance of employer credits. This has to be turned in, as well as of course, the quarterly payroll tax, tax forms, the forms 941. These two forms have to be submitted to the IRS for them to be able uh, to send you this advance. They have to have these forms on their records. If you have, uh, if you have, the, if you have been paying your employee uh, while they are experiencing symptoms, you're eligible to get this credit. If you are not paying your payroll taxes because you're getting this credit, but you have an excess, you're still missing money, you still have some other refundable tax credit you aren't able to get, then that's when this form 7200 is important to be submitted to the IRS so you can get the check from the IRS. That's how they are gonna pay you this advance. Pretty much the difference of the tax credit that you're still eligible to get, but haven't received it yet. That's how you can claim this credit. Now, how can you at least uh, be certain that you are doing everything correctly? Number one is always ask, uh, get with your accountant, or if you are seeking more questions, if you do not have an accountant, always feel free to contact us. We have been working with many self-employed people, many business owners that have employees, be able to get this refundable tax credit already deposited. It's in their bank account. Uh, but of course, these forms have to be correctly filled out and be turned into the IRS. Uh, in order to at least be safe from being audited is have all of the payroll, the quarterly payroll tax returns filed, submitted on time, and always keep a copy to yourself. Always have all of your tax reports neatly filed and always easy access in case you need to open them up and submit it. Uh, always have them you know, on file. Uh, you can always be audited for the past four years. That is just the IRS, how they work for businesses. If you're gonna be claiming anything, if they have to pay you anything, the IRS can always audit you. Just always keep that in mind. You can always be at it, audited for any given, any given reason. Maybe it's just a random audit, but at the end, anybody can be audited. And the way that you can at least facilitate the, auditors, the auditor and the audit process is by having all of your tax reports, all of your documents uh, neatly set up and on file, ready to be turned in in any given case of an audit. Now, Ms. Gloria, she is able to get this ERC. Why? Because she was able to at least uh, get services from Michael Tax. We have been able to assist her and submit the proper and correctly filled out documents submitted to the IRS. She has received an advance. Everything that she has paid the employee, she has been able to get. So just like an employee is happy that they are on payroll, now the Miss Gloria, the small business owner is happy because the IRS has been paying her her due credits that she has been qualified for. Now, one of the employees needs longer vacation since the daycare is closed. We know that the daycare is the kids, it's very important to keep them safe, and therefore the, the daycare had to be closed for a while. So the employee, the mom whose uh, child's daycare had to close, they're seeking more vacation time. Because of course the kids, they come first, they have to take care of them for more, for a longer period of time. So what type of payroll incentive can she apply for? if they have to take care of the kids. We're gonna be talking about this additional payroll in, uh, incentive on next Wednesday, on the next webinar. Uh, so of course, uh, just tune in so you can find out how exactly some more credits that are, the employees are eligible for, that the employers are eligible for. It's very important to always at least keep up to date on these because you don't wanna miss 
any refundable tax credits that you sh you at least qualify for. Uh, and that's the main thing. If you qualify for them, it is important that you get this money. Why? Because the IRS, all you have to do is ask them for the money. The IRS wants to give it to you, but all of these reports have to be filed for you to get this money that you already spend. You already spend money on it. Might as well get a refundable tax credit on it. So the benefits of getting the business bundle, tax payroll and bookkeeping services all together, all in one, in one place, always peace of mind, save yourself headaches, save time and money. That's the main thing about businesses. If you can save time, if you can save money, that's a smart business move. Also, of course, if you have your books, you always have faster access to getting these loans, these grants, everything that the small businesses are eligible for. It can only be done by having all of your bookkeeping up to date all of your taxes up to date and of course not owe any taxes that's that's one thing that can really hurt you michael tax worry free year round competent and on time let us help you from the beginning of the year january 1st all the way until january uh, december 31st we're open all year round and can service you in all aspects of your business whatever your business needs we can go ahead and assist you on that uh, because of what we have been doing, we have been awarded, of course, Minority Business of the Year, uh, been visited by SBA ex-chairman, Ms. Linda McMahon, and we had a just uh, very humbly accepted these certificates. Why? Because we have been able to assist our community. We have been able to give back to them. We are here, of course, always giving these webinars, this information free of cost to everybody. So everybody can be on the same page and know exactly how much money they can still receive. It is not over yet there's still some money out there that you can always be eligible for all that has to be done is have your books up to date and we let us help you out we can get you some money just reach out to us you can also follow uh, our public facebook page you can see all the business owners we have assisted not only during the COVID 19 there has been other pandemics in the past thankfully for our, our uh, clients, business owners, they have been able to obtain all of these grants, opportunities that are out there. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment here. We'll be go ahead and contact you uh, as soon as this webinar is over and hope to see everybody next week and take note on these credits, uh, you guys, you small business owners, because these credits are going to give you some funds available to keep your business up and running. Go ahead and contact us, WicoTax, so we can help you out in your business so it can be at least going through the path into success a lot faster. There has been a lot of setbacks in this 2020, but there's also opportunities. Don't look at it as just half empty. Look at it as half full of this cup. There's a lot of opportunities available. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and let you go. I'm going to wish everyone, everyone here just a happy Wednesday and a great uh, Wednesday, middle of the week. Let's get a good second half of this week going. And uh, everybody have a blessed day. We'll see all of you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.